Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, January 6th, 2021 by Gaia Bhumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I honor the divine flow as guided by my personal sense of responsibility. And today we have a huge shift and it's huge because We've had Mars in Aries since June of 2020. Usually Mars takes about like six weeks to move through a sign. And because of this retrograde, we have had six months with Mars in Aries. So this is definitely going to be major. Now, the first thing to note with a Mars shift, um, when Mars shifts signs, especially when it hits the other sign and goes to zero degrees, sometimes our energy can plummet. So if you're feeling like, Ooh, I have no energy out of nowhere. It's not nowhere. It's Mars energy. And so for the next few days, we may find ourselves a little bit less energetic. It doesn't mean that you can't do things, but just do try to take it easy for yourself. The other thing to be aware of, so Mars isn't like shifting as soon as the clock hits midnight. Mars will be shifting at 2.27 p.m. Now, I always say with times in astrology, take it with a grain of salt because it's an energetic thing. So sometimes we feel it a little earlier, sometimes we feel it a little later. So you may find, uh, feel it right at 2.27 p.m. Pacific time, or you may feel it a little earlier in the day, a little later in the day. Everybody feels things differently. That's one of the things I've really seen with astrological patterns. So again, if you don't feel anything, that's cool too. But just be aware of that. You may wake up feeling like, Ugh, Mars, what did you do? <laughs> so again, just the awareness of that. Now, Mars in Taurus. To be fair, Mars in Taurus is not its favorite placement for Mars, especially leaving Aries. Mars in Aries is like, yeah, let's blow the place up. Taurus is traditionally ruled by Venus. Um, so Mars could feel a little wonky weird in the sign of Taurus. And yet, I'm feeling this as a very, very, very good and important transit. Now, Mars in Taurus, I'll get into the details in a bit, but one of the things that we really need to be aware of is that this energy, I feel like is going to help support our grounding versus all of the crazy Aquarius energy that we have. Mars in Taurus will be squaring resistance, that Aquarius energy, and yet even though it's a square and bring resistance, I actually feel it kind of balancing out all of those signals <laughs> flying around uh, with all of the Aquarius energy that we've got going on. So I'm really grateful for this shift. And later this week, Venus will also be moving into an Earth sign. Venus will be moving into Capricorn. And again, that feels very grounding and supportive in this energy. I can, I can tell you for sure, I need the grounding. So that's really beneficial. Um, with anything, I always like to bring forth the highs and the lows. So I'm going to start with the lows of Mars and Taurus because this I definitely felt very strongly. Mars in Taurus. Mars is how we take action. Mars is action. It is frustration, aggression. It is passion. Mars is, uh, I think I just said it, but where we take, where and how we take action. So in the sign of Taurus, Taurus is about our gifts our personal worth. And when I say gifts, I mean our talents, our inherent uh, talents that we came in with. So our gifts and talents, our personal worth, um, it can represent money and sensual, pleasurable energy. So the first thing as I was feeling through Mars and Taurus was if you find yourself going into hyper overdrive, trying to produce, trying to bring forth results, energy, whether it's in your job or in your life or whatever, too much. <laughs> like you don't have to prove your worth. You don't have to prove yourself by producing. You need to be very aware of that. Um, the other thing is Mars and Taurus can push the sensual side of things. A lot of times, um, there's a few places in a chart that I can look at like addiction energies, for example. Taurus is definitely one of those places. Taurus loves pleasure. And so Taurus energy, not calling out Taurus specifically, it's just the energy, which we all have in our chart somewhere. The energy of Taurus can have us like seeking out that pleasure. And so with Mars and Taurus, we need to be really aware of going overboard 
in that energy. That grounding is really important. Taking action, like connecting to the earth and feeling that energy like under our feet, like reminding us who and where we are, that can be really, really, really supportive during a Mars in uh, Taurus transit. That being said, I do feel like we are called to be beings of pleasure that allow pleasure in our life. So do take action in regards to pleasure. Do, do honor that passion. Just be aware of that overboard tendency, especially as Mars will be squaring again that Aquarius energy, especially when it starts squaring Jupiter. Watch for that because again, we may, we may, we may err into like the, the earth density is too much. I need a little escapism, a little pleasure. Great. Overboard, not as good. So we do want to be very aware of that. But again, not deny ourselves that energy. Um, Mars and Taurus, it is a great time as well to take action in regards to your gifts. Have there been creative ideas kind of on the back burner? Especially with this Aquarius energy. The Aquarius energy is like, aha, innovation, idea, idea, idea. And Mars and Taurus will hopefully bring that down into grounded energy and allow us to take action. But again, don't overdo it. <laughs> Mars in Taurus can tend to want to prove itself and overdo uh, that energy. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I've left out of this Mars and Taurus energy that I do want to look at. I do think that I should look at the fact that we will be going through, again, these Aquarius Taurus squares. Um, Mars and Taurus, I think is gonna, especially when it meets up with Uranus, help us in the area of change, like where we do need to take action in regards to change. And again, it feels very balancing to all the Aquarius energy, which may be like, hey, can you get on it? Can you just, can you just level up already? Can you just evolve already? So Mars is like, here, I'm, I'm helping you. I'm supporting you. So notice the resistance that's coming up. Um, with all of, with all of this that we're going through, uh, but again, slow and steady wins the race minute by minute, uh, baby step by baby step, allow yourself to take that aligned in flow responsibility action. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave that there for Mars and Taurus. I just want to remind you once again, uh, this energy, it'll take a few days to really start moving forward. The one last thing that I want to say, if you are a Taurus, just realize Tauruses are generally more even keeled in regards to temper, but Mars in Taurus can spike that up a little bit for Tauruses. Um, so just be aware, just be aware of that energy uh, affecting you. That being said, let's look at some of this other energy that we've got going on. We have the moon in Libra. And the moon in Libra is making a lot of squares today. So squares, again, that resistance. And to me, these squares with Capricorn are reminding us where we need, like if we're feeling that, I don't know, frustration in the world, in those squares, that resistance and frustration, are you honoring your inner harmony? Moon in Libra is like a monthly reminder that we have to find that balance, that harmony within ourselves. So moon in Libra, are you finding that balance? Are you balancing your head and your heart? Um, are you balancing these ideas with being grounded? Really making sure that you're staying centered, balanced in all the ways. Capricorn energy, just like just like the Taurus energy, Capricorn energy can tend to like want to take control and overdo it. So being gentle, being easy with ourselves. As the moon moves through Libra, it will connect with um, actually the sun early in the morning, then a square with Pluto in the afternoon, Boy. <laughs> and then a square with Mercury, communications and relationship with yourself, between your head and your heart, you may hit a little bit of a breakdown in the afternoon, that's okay, again, pull yourself back, find, find that homeostasis, find that equilibrium, um, equanimity, harmony, balance, find your center, if you find yourself being pulled out of it by the world or by any outside responsibilities. Come back to yourself. 
We end the day though with the moon and Libra connecting to Venus as Venus finishes up in Sagittarius. So <laughs> that may be where your sensual energy starts. You're like, huh, after today, I deserve a nice dinner. And you absolutely 100% do. That's one of the things I didn't really mention about Mars. Mars in Taurus taking action based on your personal values and based on your worth. So what do you value? Take action in regards to that and knowing your worth and taking aligned action with that. So that's a that's a huge part. I can't believe that I may have missed that back there. But uh, Moon and Libra connecting to Venus is like, hey, now's the time to start. So whether it's a bubble bath or a nice meal after, you know, after facing the challenges of the squares, do something nice for yourself. A massage, pat on the back, even sitting and meditating, whatever that is for you honor yourself in that. So top of the pack, we have the compromise card, which is the don't compromise card. According to me, don't compromise your values. Don't compromise your worth. It's something that we're all learning as humans. It takes time. I also love this card, the integration card, the balance of the yin and yang energies. Mars and Taurus can really help us find that balance within ourselves as we honor our worth, as we honor our gifts, and then take that action. So that feels like a really good, supportive, hopeful card. The rest of the cards, eh, well, this one too is kind of funny. I have the laziness card. <laughs> Again, Mars moving into Taurus, our energy may go a little bit down. There's still going to be stuff to work through, and yet take it easy on yourself. The other cards definitely feel a bit like the Libra Capricorn stuff. I have the Control card in reverse and the Guilt card in reverse. Take it easy on yourself. These squares right now, you know, they've been happening monthly between the Libra Capricorn energies. Uh, take it easy on yourself. Don't get too caught up in your mind. Don't get too caught up in others' energies or even others' versions of control. How can you find that flow of personal responsibility. So that is it for today. You can book a reading with me. This is like your last opportunity over the next few days to try to book a 2021 reading. Um, I can do the long version, but if you are interested and a little financially strapped, uh, the short version may be good for you. So please feel free to reach out for that. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and stay curious. Namaste.